Hi, I'm Carly Nettles, and I'm reading for the part of Chris. You've got to be kidding me. Mr. Johnson? Great! As if the school doesn't torture me enough between eight and three. You don't have to call me Mr. Johnson here, Chris. My name is Quincy, but everybody calls me Quincy. You do this a lot? Online dating? Actually, it's my first time. <laughs> so my mom's the first person to agree to go out with you? No, of course not. Lots of women want to go out with me. Ladies love me. So you're a womanizer? No, what? Dude! You're not my mom's type, you know. She's a babe. Five guys proposed to her before she even met my dad. They were rich, handsome, and she turned them down. Good to know. I just don't want you to waste your little time. Or my mom's. She works with surgeons, and you're wearing a plastic Spider-Man watch. Don't you have anything better to do? Homework or something? I'm Tracy. I'm Quincy. And I'm gonna vomit. So, I can assume your date was sufficiently mortifying and I don't have to worry about my guidance counselor darkening our doorway ever again? It actually looks kind of nice. Mom, no! Oh, Cindy Masterson's gonna have a field day! Honey, I'm not gonna base my love life on how Cindy Masterson's gonna react. What are you basing it on then, Mom? Charity? You joined the Babes for Dorks program? Okay, so maybe he's not as tall or smooth or coordinated as the guys I normally date. But the kind of guys I normally date haven't worked out too well for me, so I want to try some substance over style for once. You hit the jackpot with this one then, Mom. He has the fashion sense of roadkill. I'm just tired of guys who lie to me and pretend to be something they're not, you know? I just want someone real. Someone who isn't imaginary. Way to set your standards high, Mom! Well, in any case, he's coming over for dinner tomorrow. No! So I want you to be nice. Are you dead? Yes, I'm dead. Are you going to be nice? Hi, welcome to the Saunders residence. I'm Christina Saunders, one of your hosts for the evening. My, what lovely flowers. I love flowers and sunbeams and candy and ponies. Come on in. I know what you're doing. I'm on to your little plan, Quincy. You are? You're trying to get in good with my mom and making me a little clone of her. Well, it won't work. I may not be a cheerleader or a debutante or popular, but there is one thing I do better than anyone else on the planet. I am a gamer. And this Friday night, I'm going to qualify for the Black Hole Tournament. And in two weeks, I'm going to win. Because, evidently, it's the only way I can get people like you and my mom to take me seriously. Before, I just wanted to win for the money. But now, I want to win for me. Hello? Hey, it's Chris. What are you doing right now? Mm, nothing, just grading papers. What papers do you have to grade? You're a guidance counselor. Oh, you know, college applications, transcripts, permission slips. Are you playing a video game? No, that's the echo from the video game you're playing. I'm not playing a video game. I'm studying for my math test. Good. We're both working. What's up? I want to talk to you about something, but you got to promise not to tell my mom. You're the heir to the British throne. You're a mass vigilante by night. You actually do like Brussels sprouts. No! Would you listen? I have a friend who likes this guy at school, and the guy doesn't know. Or at least I don't think he does. He's nice to my friend, but maybe he's just a nice person. <laughs> he has to be, since he's dating the most evil girl alive. And my friend wants to find out if he likes her or not, so what should I tell her? You have a friend? Shut up! I have friends! Okay, I don't. Chris, it's okay. I know you like Ash. So what should I do? I mean, he's got a girlfriend. Cindy? Cindy's no competition. Are you nuts? Cindy's on the prom court! She lettered in volleyball, swimming, and soccer. Her grandpa invented the weed whacker, so her parents don't even need to work. They just go skiing all the time. And she's a lot older and more sophisticated since she got held back in kindergarten. Hello? Quincy? Where'd you go? Oh uh, yeah, sorry. Look, all we need to do is show Ash that you're as talented and fun as Cindy is shallow and mean. How do we do that? We've got to get you in your element. <laughs> 